All right, YouTube, we're going to play another League of Humans. Whoa. I love your content. We'd love to see you plunge into darkness. Okay. Plunge into darkness. I, I've, I've seen it from time to time. I don't, I don't play it too, too often, but I have seen it in there before. Wow, Jeff, thank you very much. This is like, this is awesome. This is, this is great. I appreciate the host. Here, we're going to play another league because of this massive host here. Um, I guess we'll start this off here. For everyone that's coming over from Jeff's stream, my name's Dylan Hovey. I'm a part of the Card Hoarder Network. Um, if you have any Magic Online needs, you should check out Card Hoarder. Um, <clears throat> uh, God, I'm just so overwhelmed. There's so many people watching. Um, I have a YouTube channel. You should check that out. Link below. If you're on YouTube and you see this, you should look at my Twitch channel. Um, if you want to interact with me on Twitter, that's also linked below. Um, and then Gamer Craze is an up, is a store in upstate New York that also sponsors my content. So you should check them out. They have a great store on a great price on Magic Online or on Magic Single. I'm so nervous. I never had a never had a host this big. So all right, we're gonna get back into it. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Polly. Uh, Polly Vias, I appreciate that. Um, Runs, that might be right to do here. I just like just sided it in. I'm just gonna keep it here. This is what I got today. Sounds decent. Like we've got turn one vial into, you know, into lieutenant. So uh, this is so intense. All right, so we're gonna go human. Human into here. Then we're going to go champion, lieutenant, and then next turn, mantis rider plus. I'm probably going to vial this champion in before the trigger goes up. Yeah, I'm going to respond to the trigger by doing this. What's my opponent doing? They just play Blood Ghast. So Blood Sandmire into Mountain with nothing to do. Like, this is a very weak hollow one hand if this is what they're doing. My hand's so aggressive that, like, I don't really... It was, this might be Mardu, but... I don't know. <clears throat> We're going to go for it here. Should be aggressive. I don't think this is Mardu Pyromancer, but I don't... I also don't know... I don't know what this is here. Yeah, they haven't played anything, so, like... I'm very confused... It's a very weak draw, no matter what. Fetching a Sacred Foundry is also kind of confusing. I'm gonna Helix this? Searing Blood. Okay, we're playing its burn. All right, all right. That makes a little more sense. I still think in response to this Vile trigger, I'm gonna Vile in this Champion of the Parish, and then I'm gonna Mantis Rider. Wow, M. Radbutz, M. Radbutz, thank you for the, uh, thank you for the subscription. I appreciate that. Mostly play humans and uh, a lot of Death Shadow on this channel. Oh, God, I was talking. I meant to do that. I guess it's okay to go like this. Vial in this Freebooter. I want to do this before I get the Mantis Rider in. I could lose. No, so this was this might have been loose. No, because they're going to deal they're gonna deal damage to this anyways. It's going to be a three damage spell. So. <clears throat> oh, so they're just fetching. Okay. Let's get this in here. Doing Blaze Homeboy, okay. Yes, put this into play. Let's check out. So I think I want to take the Lightning Helix because my creature is going to do so much damage that I'm at such a, I'm at a pretty high life total that I think I can race them. Human. Yeah, this looks like a stock burn deck. From everyone coming in from the chat, from Jeff's channel, I was I was picked on by my opponent earlier tonight for playing a stock humans deck. I was called a net decker. So, so that was 
That was entertaining. Um, do I want to send this to three? I think I do because I want to play champion into Mantis Rider. So let's go up. Yeah, so I don't play burn. I don't play humans very much. This is Finkel. Or F this is final. So I don't play it that much. So I tend to lose a little bit of uh, a little bit of advantage. I would say. I mostly pl I play a lot of Death Shadow, but I do like this human stack. It is very much up my alley. Like I, I like being aggressive and disruptive. So, I'm definitely not going to play perfectly with this deck yet. That's kind of something that I struggle as a Magic player. I'm, I'm not very intuitive. <laughs> well, good luck, Johnny. Let's get in here. And we should have him next turn. My opponent does have eight points of burn, so it'd have to have eight points into like they easily could kill me here. I mean, that's just burn, right? It's not as a stock humans listen to all that. People are still here. Yeah, I think Bugler. I think Bugler is really good. I played it tonight. I think like I played a bunch of long games, and the Bugler did a lot of work there. So I'm a big Bugler fan. It might be what this deck need. What this deck needed here. Oh, I appreciate the tip then. This is final. This is final. Uh, final I am okay. Yeah, I appreciate that. It's letting me untap. So I'm either dead or not, either way. Like, it doesn't really matter. I guess I should have cracked. I should have cracked that because I could have hit Mantis Rider. I mean, in case they have, like, Searing Blaze into something, but I, I don't know. I think I'm dead to all the same things. Lightning Helix. Which got them back Lightning Helix. Okay, so I, I am punished. I was punished for just going to combat, because then they Helix this. They only take six. Yeah, this was loose. This was loose. I attacked with a Noble Hierarch, which isn't good. I just, like, sent it. Wasn't super worried about it. I didn't really know what they could have. Yeah, so now they would have been dead six ways to Sunday if I'd have been, like, on top of it. All right, well, we got lucky. I made a mistake. Did not sequence well. And then got lucky, uh, got lucky because of it. So, all right. So he gets burn. These sin collectors are probably great. I don't, I don't really know how to sideboard with this deck yet. So I don't think the buglers are that good. The reflector mages probably aren't super either. So the question is, the Orioch champions are obviously in. So we probably go like this. I don't know if the chat has any input. <clears> Hope <throat> oh, Jeff had a good stream tonight. I like to watch his. Uh, I like to watch his stream from time to time. When I can, he, he streams. Uh, streams during the day a lot when I'm at work. So sometimes I miss that. But when I have the chance, I do like to check in from time to time. I think I'm gonna go like this. All right, uh, Mulligan. Sand is not good here. I feel like Bugler might be better than the Fucking Mage if it finds Champion. I'm not really sure either. Uh, Yum is dumb. It might be better on the play, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah, I play a I play a lot of Death Shadow, and I miss a lot of sequences, sequencing things from time to time because like. Every deck in Modern is really complicated to play. And I think that there's sequencing things with every deck. 
that you have to that you have to learn. I think I'm gonna keep this. I think Oriok Champion is too good to mulligan. I do have to pay attention when it comes to Skullcrack. God, that is like a second land, which is really important, but it's so painful. I think I'm gonna keep this. It, it like hurts, but I think I'm going to. Every deck has such like like I, I've played a lot of Death Shadow, a lot of Tron, and a lot of uh, like Mardu slash Jeskai. Oh well, we made up for our mulligan. And um and every deck has like very difficult sequencing decisions. I think. What a traitor. It kills me, dude. Oh no, we're playing it tonight. I just want to make sure that this deck isn't like absolutely busted. And I'm and I'm like doing myself damage by not playing it at the GP. Okay, that makes sense. The big boy. <laughs> Phantasmal image. So okay, so we have an image coming. So if we can play this Oriok champion and image it, we should be in good shape. So let's get this down here. Human. Oh, no. Come on, Horizon Canopy. You're killing me. There we go. <clears throat> I probably have to block, even though that leaves me pretty naked to uh, Skullcrack. What am I supposed to remember? Nice job, Free Mania. That's awesome. A new to modern. I made a deck list based on kind of such good goals. Keep making the Undying creature. They had a path. That means we're pretty much dead, I think. Uh, probably want another white land. So, um, new to modern. I made a deck list based on countering and sacrificing creatures. The goal, the goal is to keep making the undying creature come back onto the field. We're gonna counter this. So you probably want to play like Vizier of Remedies, right? Or is that only plus one plus one counters? That might help there. I'm not super sure. I'm not. I'm, I'm not a very good brewer of mo uh, in modern. Uh, yep. Yeah. Take up here. Uh, so you just play Mantis Rider. Copy Mantis Rider. Or I could play Collector. Copy Collector. I think I want to play Mantis Rider, copy Mantis Rider, because I want to be able to tango with these Goblin Guides. Like, I'm likely pretty dead to whatever my opponent has in their hands. Is it? With Persist Creatures, sure. Just throwing... <laughs> the old T-I-T-I. -T -I. Oh, I can't even cast Mantis Rider. Oh, we're so dead. All right, we're going to Sin Collector... Look to trade with our opponents. That's an annoying thing about this deck sometimes. You just can't cast Mantis Rider from time to time. <clears throat> Always yield. I guess I'm going to image this and hope this works out. <clears throat> We're likely dead as a doorknob here. Because no matter what, we've got... Okay, so we get a skull crack. We take three. Block here. Go to two. That's pretty much what we're doing. We can hope. You think Alliance Kite Sail Lieutenant? Sure, the basic island because it casts image as well. That makes sense. Yep. That makes sense. Hope you're right. I got a little flustered when I saw like the big host in there. I, I definitely have been playing a little a little nervous. It's a good host. I, I really appreciate that. 
It's a whole bunch of new people that come in here. I wish I was playing Death Shadow. Like, that's that's kind of my thing. Like, if you check out my YouTube channel, uh, Jeff hosted me. If you check out my YouTube channel, it's a lot of Death Shadow stuff. Um, I guess we want to go up to be able to cast Mantis Rider. Yeah, we're just dead. Precarious situation, yeah. Like, it's my Sunday stream. My wife's gone. I've been having some beers. Having a good time, playing some magic with some people that usually watch my channel. And then I get this big stream, big host. And I'm like, oh my god. So somebody in the chat said that I should cyborg differently. I don't exactly, I, I, it's, it's, it's way up there. I don't exactly know what it is. Jeff is all about the loose play. That sounds like a cool deck. Um, L L U N A T I Q Lunatic Lunatic. I guess it's kind of close thing. Um, you're talking about what I wrote. Somebody said that they liked Militia Bugler because it can block, and I'm kind of into that on the draw, but I don't know if I'm into that on the play. Like, I kind of just want to be aggressive with a little bit of disruption on the play. So I think we're just going to send it like this. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. So probably like this. Yeah, this Sin Collector should be gone. I think I should have at least one more Reflector Mage. But hopefully we can outpace. Like, I want to keep a... I want a mulligan to a hand where we can potentially out, outpace a... Grim Lava Mancer. Yeah, I mean, it's a turn two Mantis Rider. If they don't kill this Noble Hierarch, we're going to go we're gonna go nuts. So, hopefully this works out. All right, let's go human. Get this and go. I've been thinking of removing. Don't kill this. Come on, one time. I guess if they kill it, it's not even that bad for us. All right, so we're going to be able to outpace this Lava Mancer, I think because of the Mantis Riders. See, I messed up. I just messed up my sequencing. I should have played the Canopy. Because by, uh, by playing this, this means that if they kill my Noble Hierarch, I can't play this Mantis Rider again next turn. So I should have played. I should have played Canopy. My instinct told me to not play damage, and that, or not take damage, and that was wrong. Okay. Should I play another one? I wonder if this vial is worth it. Is this vial worth taking damage? It's only one damage. It makes our top decks really great. I think we're just going to like... like it, th this game's likely going to last a couple more turns because I think my opponent has to answer my creatures instead of burning me. Unless their hand is like full of just um, searing effects. Then I should be able to get leverage out of this vial. <clears throat> we got him on the back foot, I think. All right. Bolt this, attack me, probably. No, rip bolt. 
Okay. So now that Rift Bolt suspended, I think we're just we're going like ham on this Mantis Rider. Yeah, I think we're just gonna like load up here. Always yield. No, shoot. I made a mistake. I should have I was I, I had tunnel vision there. I got tunnel vision, which which messed me up there. I was like, I want to go Mantis Rider, Mantis Rider. All right, let's not compound our mistake. We're going to copy this Mantis Rider. I missed out on a point of damage there, which was poor. This was poor. I should have I should have gone this way. I should have cuz like I would have I would have hit for one more damage here. Yeah, that was poor. My opponent's being mean. They say nice hand. What a jerk. This is poor. I should have copied. So they'd be at four now. So if we lose and they're at one, it's our fault. And now they can. I guess they could kill this no matter what because they just target it. So. <clears throat> so dead in the air. Which is nice. Okay, so they killed that, which is good. So if they go on the creature, like the killer creature plan, then this sin collector is going to get even better. So. Because, like, they're just using their resources to answer our creatures and they're not pressuring our life total. And we just hit so hard. But even though we made a mistake here, we still should be okay. So I can't do the Thalia trick here. I've got to go white. Is it worth taking a point of damage to attack my creature? I think it is. You think so? Yeah, that might have been right to do. I think I want to get in there with my Noble Hierarch this turn. So let's go here. All right, let's get rid of the skull crack. So we can go attack and then vial this in after. They have to block. Vial this in. Play our noble. I'm gonna have to restart Moto in between matches here. <coughs> Yeah, it's good to know. I don't. It's good to know, like, when you make mistakes with a deck, how to like, because everybody makes mistakes. Like, I, I've made a lot of mistakes. I know that people that are good at magic, they also make mistakes. Like, it's good to know how to recover after after you do that. And I guess it would have made sense to make a huge um, mantis rider. They just couldn't kill. Or we're taking them two cards. Um, I'm going to go up with this because if I draw a two drop, I can still cast it off the Noble in this land. Sin Collector. Just block, block. All right, well, we might as well do this just to do it. Champion. So block, block. Okay, so we might as well just attack with everything now. And then we just vial in this Sin Collector. I guess it would have only been five power. Yeah, you're right there. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. SE, unfortunacy? Fortunacy. Twitch names are tough.
that's the big thing. When it comes to humans, like, what's more important? Sequencing with this deck is tough. We're just going to do this now because, I mean, he shoots this anyways, right? And now I get to get a card out of their hand if they drew a spell. And we'll play the champion after combat. We get a Searing Blaze. And then you go there, sir. Like, what do you got? It's going to be pretty sweet off the top. I think Orzhov Charm is a little too cute in Death Shadow. That cool V, if you're still in the chat. I think it's a bit too cute. All right, I'm going to grab some water, then we'll be right back to the next match. All right. Should play Parish because now we can kill the turn. There's so many little sequencing things with this deck that I just, like, miss. Like, just from not playing it too often. Like, it's super powerful. Which helps, you know, I've, I've missed little things from here and there. They mess up a lot of things, but that makes sense. <clears throat> I appreciate uh, all you guys for guys and gals coming over and hanging out tonight. It is late. It's almost it is almost midnight over here in the East Coast. I live in Washington, D.C. So, because you could have vialed in the collector response and we got three days. Yeah, you're right. You are right, sir. I made a mistake. Um, this hand is slow. It's kind of disruptive, but it is pretty slow. I guess I can go Vile on one, Freebooter on two, and then hopefully I draw one drop. If I'm playing against a slow grindy deck, this hand's really good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this. I think I think the upside of this hand, like if we're playing as a combo deck, it's it's not great. We do have two freebooters, but we might be a little slow on the draw. Okay, tap Sacred Foundry is good for the home team, I think. All right, let's get this human into vial. I tend to be kind of picky with my sevens in modern, especially when I'm playing like an aggressive deck. Like I, I like to mulligan aggressively there because I, I I think that all the decks in modern are so good that if you're if you're trying to like not control the game, you have to try to kill people. So I don't really know what my opponent's doing here. Uh, do I want to name an illusion? If I name an illusion, then I I guess I could just do human and then plan to vile in the illusion. I don't want to mess up a mantis rider. Which has happened to me already today, so like, I should learn from this shit. May phase one is correct. Just before combat, like, to gain information. That makes sense. Okay. So it's a red-white prison deck. So if I take this Gideon, and the next turn go Freebooter copy, I can get Anger, and I can get Wrath of God, then deal with this Nahiri. So I think we're going to take this Gideon. And we're going to hope this guy doesn't rip a red source. God, I hate how Moto does this. 
<clears throat> and we're trying to get two cards here. We're going to be smart with how we attack. Yeah, I've definitely gotten punished a lot with that. So we do want to go up. Bugle Boy. Let's do this first. I'm going to go with this one. All right, so, okay. So let's take this anger. Then. Oh, I can't do that. Shoot, I just talked about that. God damn it. So let's just take this Wrath of God. It doesn't really matter. Like, it's the same thing either way. Wrath of God. And I'm not going to attack because I don't want to sacrifice a creature. And then if they tap out and do play this Nahiri, we can just, like, Lieutenant and get them. Yeah, you got it, dude. Let's get this. I love how I just talked about how I was going to vial that thing in and then just messed it up. I was just nervous about them killing the creature, so I should have just cast the Freebooter in response. There's the cliff top. I don't think I want to do this. I think I want to go two drop into two drop. So now I want to vial this, put in this image. Okay, you got it, dude. Let's put this in, copy this. Still name Wrath of God, or take their Wrath of God. And let's start bugling. I'm going to still name Human with this. I should have gotten an island when they hit me with that Stone Rain there, that Field of Ruin. Now that's nice is that I can at start attacking with this Bugler next turn, and I don't care if they bless an alliance and sack it. Okay, we'll grab another Bugler. So now we want to go up with our Vile next turn. So we're going to go up, smack with everybody, and then play our Thalia's Lieutenant, just gaining four life. It's raining Buglers. Oh, they get to do that and sack that. That's a good play from them. I didn't know you could go untapped target creature. That's a good play from our opponent, for sure. I did not see that coming. So now we're dead as a doorknob. Yeah, he killed the image. Yep. I, I missed that. All right, let's get this in here. So now it's going to be a climb back. So, they use their Wrath of God. So they have Gideon. So let's just go get this Champion of the Paris. Paris, let's get this. Let's get this in play. Rebuild. This deck rebuilds really well without this Champion. With this Militia Bugler, you just, like, build back up so quickly. We play, oh, he is an angler. Anger, God. I'm just all over the place. It is late. I was going to finish up, and then Jeff gave me that stream there. The host. All right, so let's play. Let's violin this bugler. Let's get this, and now let's start hitting him here. Uh, blue, red, right here. 
this is kind of the hard part about streaming sometimes that you don't necessarily pay attention too much to what is going on. You tend to just like keep in there. I don't know what the card does there. Dark Inferno. Alright, Gideon to protect. We're not going to do anything here. So we're going to attack Gideon and Meddling Mage is Nahiri. It's probably worth it. It's the only card I know. And then next turn we can like Dahlia's Lieutenant and guarantee get this getting off the board. If you do return target creature from your hands. Yeah, I'm not sure. It might be good. But I have to see it. I have to see it in play. It's hard to evaluate that kind of stuff. So I actually don't care if this Nahiri comes down. I kind of do because it goes up to six. Yeah, I guess I should just take this Nahiri out here. Or I could just name Wrath of God. Because, like. If this Nahiri comes down next turn, we just play Thalia's Lieutenant, buff both my creatures and kill it. So let's just get rid of this Wrath of God. Yeah, that makes sense. They're Dark Inferno. I'm not, I don't super know exactly what we do here. Yeah, that makes sense too. Oh, I appreciate all the follows that are coming through. I, I keep my... Alright, they had anger. Okay. And we're gonna just flash this reflector mage in to get this Gideon off the battlefield. This Nahiri's gonna be another another whole issue, but and we're gonna leave this here. No, let's crack this first. Human Okay. So let's play this, get this Gideon off the board, and hopefully we can claw through here. Then the Nahiri kills my Reflector Mage, but then any human off the top fixes that. Okay, there's Nahiri. So they have a removal spell here, I'm in trouble, but I'm kind of in trouble no matter what if I can't kill this thing. I cannot kill it, unfortunately. I can kill it next to, oh no, I can kill it. Okay, okay, okay. So we attack here, and then just flash this in. Now they have a Blessed Alliance. All right, we're going to go to the next game. Yeah, for everybody that followed there, I keep my I keep my uh, alerts low because it messes with my YouTube video. Take it easy, Johnny. Okay, so against this deck, what is Sin Collector? Instant or Sorceries, that's probably not great. I don't really have a lot of good cards for this matchup. I guess I want Militia Bugler if they're going to continue to, like, wrath my board. Reflector Mage probably isn't great, so I should probably find some substitutes for that. Sin Collector is probably better than all my Reflector Mages. Um, I'd like to find room for another Sin Collector, but I'm not sure what I should take out for it. Maybe a Lieutenant, because it plays into Wraths. Yeah, let's try this. This makes sense to me. What do you mean Affinity with two cards being the main board now? I just go like a modern. Uh, so I think Affinity has like 
for the last however many couple years has been on this level of power because there hasn't been printed any cards. And if you should be trying Karn to hope that Karn raises it, I think. Affinity's been the same deck for the last, whatever, five years. If Karn, if people are playing Karn, then you should play Karn. You should try it. Because the deck just needs a power level increase. I would like to play first. Uh, I think I have to mulligan. If I don't hit a second land, then I'm so dead. Though if I hit a second land, this hand is so good. I think the best thing to do is to mulligan this hand. Yeah, we're going to keep this one. It kind of sucks to do that, but I think it's like the right decision. Put that on top. We're going to start Mantis Ridering them. Like, it just sucks, but I think it's the right thing to do overall. Talk through your plays extra. Talk through your plays extra. Sounds good, Farby. How are you, Farby? Are you are you coming? You driving from somewhere, or what are you doing? It's got you on the radio this late at night. All right. So red, white, blue. But we don't have a path. I don't think they're a path to exile deck. Right, like if they they're the red white prison deck. They only play chalices, so they don't play any two mana or one mana removal. I get mooned here. Looks like it. Gideon. Okay, we can handle that. So you just play three hierarchs. That doesn't seem great though. So let's go here. Drive home from Ryzen's concert. Red White Planeswalkers. I kind of want to play this Thalia. Because like no matter what, I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna kill this thing next turn. So I think it's better to set up shop with a Thalia. Versus, because like, what does he do? He pluses on this. Then next turn, I, I won't, I'm going to attack with my hierarch to not play into, um, whatever it is. Okay, that, well, that changes a lot of things. To not play into, I was gonna play around bless alliance, but he can't even bless alliance me because it costs so much mana. All right, scoop it up, nice. We're gonna we're gonna send it. The Oriarch Champion is nice that it survives through anger, but like besides that, it doesn't really do too much. It's special. <clears throat> I don't understand why you would play red white planeswalkers unless you weren't gonna play red white prison. You know. Like, just play the chalices and the blood moons and, like, don't be afraid. Go ham. Don't half-ass it. It should be a rule of life. Okay, so do I play the Sally as lieutenant? I don't really want to... I want to get this vial going, and I don't want to play into an Anger of the Gods or a Wrath. Yet... I kind of want to save this this image for the bugler. Copy the thirty two in the PG. Nice. So my opponent can't anger me.
I think we're going to play... Get these two in. We can't get angered next turn. We could get wrath, and then I, I don't want to get like. I want to be able to pressure a planeswalker. Though, even if my opponent plays a planeswalker, I don't think I'm going to go like super hard at it. Unless I can kill it. Okay, there's a Blood Moon. All right. Here's a big question. Do I just go like... Do I just pray they don't have a Sweeper? And their Sweeper is an Anger of the Gods? Because like, if I go Image... I just go image, image, go. Like, that's just so much damage. And if they don't have it, they're just dead. I think I'm going to go for it. We're just going to be aggressive here. We have the Bugler to help us out a little bit. I guess I didn't need this. Maybe I didn't need the second one. That's probably a mistake. I didn't think about if I needed the second one or not. Oh, missed the trick. Yeah, you're right. They wrath me. Okay. Okay. Missed the trick, which, like, messes us up a little bit. I don't think that I needed the second. I guess I should do this in case I hit. I should do this now in case I hit a Phantasmal image. Yeah, we did hit an image. So we got we got lucky there. Um I'll just take another phantasmal image. Just keep them going. Hopefully they don't get wrath. That's pretty soft to wrath. Then have another one though. Gideon tick up on this, probably. Kill this thing. Yep. I think I played my way out of this game, if we're going to be fully honest here. Copy this. You got a kill spell. Yeah, we're dead. We're dead. They're going to get at it. They're just going to, like, Gideon us out of the game here. I guess we could have played a little longer, but like under the blood moon and this the planeswalkers in play. I think I made a mistake though, and I didn't have to play into that. I had to play like I could have held back maybe one. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna run to the bathroom. I think I could have held back one of my phantasm images. We'll be right back.
All right. Let's jump in for another match. Hopefully we get a quick one. We've been grinding a lot tonight. I'd like to just get that aggressive, like, you know, get them. A human's draw. That's what I want. I appreciate y'all for showing up tonight. Glad you're coming to watch tonight. We're playing some humans. Uh, depending on what my opponent does, I'm probably actually just going to play Aether Vial on one no matter what because I can still play two champions into something else on the next turn. My opponent Mulligan too. This is great. So hopefully we can get we can get in here good. And we should be able to at least get some damage across here, though. It's a pretty aggressive start. Mountain. Playing its burn again. A lot of burn. Playing its burn like three times tonight, I think. The problem is, like, I don't know. It might be. I just get so annoyed with, like, like, I want my Vial to get down and start working. But if we do need to race, then Champion is a better turn one play. Which makes the Vial feel so useless. Which I hate. But we do probably have to be fast here. But when we're playing against Burn, it might be worth it to try to, like, overload their mana. Like go, because they like they go one threat, deal with it. One threat, deal with it. If we go planes, we get to play two threats on one turn, which I kind of like. So I think I, I think I kind of like the vial against burn. Like I like I like trying to kind of overload their searing blazes and stuff. And then like if they can't answer both creatures, then all of a sudden the creatures get huge. Will you take extra damage from this goblin guy? Which I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm glad we're on the same page though, Teddy. God, those ancient ziggurats are doing work for us. All right, so I think we play the ziggurat, play a human, or play a champion, then play another champion, and then play Noble Hierarch, probably. And if they try to kill this one of these, then I guess we can see if we can avoid, avoid that by gaining... More counters. We get that one. I don't think I'm blocking with this next turn. Or am I? Draw five cards, no lands. I don't think I'm blocking. I think we're just going to try to like pump this thing up. Try to race them. I guess I could have pump fake the counter. I don't think I block either. What are they thinking about here? Why are they pausing? They have a bowl? There's no reason to pause here unless they're like away from the computer. I, I have not Dark Inferno. I, I don't know the deck well enough to make a good decision on Gaddic Teague. We're going to be above the rim. Do put this up. So now we just probably play Bugler, play Image, and Crack. Whoa. Game plan has changed, ladies and gentlemen. The game plan has changed. I'm not really worried about if they kill this or not here because we get to copy the champion, which is also a pretty big game. Yeah, this is a pretty decent start. We, we, we get to crack for 10 here out of nowhere while having blockers up. Yeah, this is... 
That was a sick draw. Oh, I keep I keep hitting right click attack with everything. Then I just send it in with my noble hierarch, which doesn't really matter here, but like you know, we shouldn't do. They scoop it up. I've got to restart Moto in between rounds. I keep forgetting to do that. Okay, um, so Orac Champion comes in, Sin Collector comes in. Attack with I send a message. I think we talked about Militia Bugler not being great in this matchup. And I think we talked about Reflector Mage not being great in this matchup. We'll leave one in, though. I think that's what we, we were talking about there in between, uh, in between, um, when we were starting last time. All right, we're going to keep this hand because we have an Oriok champion. And we're pretty disruptive. We're a little slow, but we are disruptive here. few plans works. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Teddy. I thought I hit the F6 button. Yeah, for sure. For sure, they're Dark Inferno. They are Pyroblast in any of my stuff. So we definitely lead with this first. Because by playing this, it's going to make all of our other humans much better. Even if they kill this, then like whatever. At least it's not a card in their hand that's coming out of our face. What is this? Green? Red? They're going to blow up my vial. Oh, so they revolt zoo. Okay, they're not burn. Oh, God. This could get bad. We got a bushwhacker. <laughs> They're gonna let me know that you are a dirty net decking humans player. Oh, just tanking on whether they want to add mana or not, I guess. <clears throat> reflecting, yeah. We're probably going to get... Re the problem is reflecting raging any of these things sucks, right? That's a lot of damage. Well, at least, at least the Oriok Champion's a blocker. The Brick Wall, what are we taking? Three, six, eight? All right, we're good. If we draw a champion pair here, that would be sweet. All right, well, Phantasmal Image is also kind of sweet. So let's go human. White. White. So now we just brick wall these two red creatures. And then hopefully we can gain enough life. Like we go. Like, copy the Oriok Champion, play Freebooter, and be in good shape. Tin Street Hooligans. I'm just bad after everything's cast. Oh, man, he blows up my artifact. Oh, he just deals damage to me? What is this? Oh, I gain one life. Okay, okay, okay. 
So now we just block. I think we're going to win. Pretty straight. I think we're going to win, like, going away here. Because... Yeah, we just go, like, image... Oh shoot, those are human spells. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, we still counter, we still flash this in. Copy this. Play a land. Oh shoot. I'm not sure. They didn't. They must just not, they must just messed it up there. So let's get this for illusion. Oh, shoot. I hate doing this. I hate... This is why I sometimes hate playing humans on Moto. Because, like, the clicking through all the lands is so annoying. Okay. Always yield. Always yes. Always yes. I think we're good here. Like... What are they going to do? We're just going to gain three life every time a creature comes into play and just completely negate their attacks. All right, Rancor is kind of annoying. I think we can beat Rancor, though. Because, like, we're going to take four, then play the booter, and then gain three. So I, don't th I don't think we're ready to attack yet. So we're going to leave this at two. Let's play this. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna gain nine life. Like, I don't. I think. I think we're okay. Yeah, I, I would agree. This game is over. It's just gonna take a while for this game to end, but the game. The game is done. I believe. So they just bolt me. Okay. You got it, dude. Hopefully it's take like a Rancor. We got a little bit of monkey business over there. Then we're going to draw step them. Always yes. God, I hate how this does this. So I gotta play my noble hierarch. I probably can get in with one of these. Which like punishes me for clicking through and not playing my noble hierarch, but such is life. So I just clicked I just clicked through this, which which sucked. Yes. Let my opponent's draw step. Let's put this into play. I do have to. I definitely have to restart Moto in between games here because this thing is just like losing its mind right now. All right, let's scoop it up there. All right, let's go like this. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight. My name is Dylan Javier. I'm part of the Card Hoarder Network. Um, you should check out Card Hoarder. Is they have the best bot chain in the business. Um, if you want to find more of my content, you should check me out on YouTube. My YouTube is linked below. If you're on YouTube now, you should check me out on Twitch. That is linked below also. Um, check me out on Twitter. That is also linked below on both sites.
So I talk, I play a lot of Death Shadow. I play a lot of Modern. I play a lot of... Uh, I kind of play everything, to tell you the truth. I kind of like all the constructed formats. Uh, if you guys need uh, Magic Online singles, you should check out Gamer Craze. Gamer Craze is a store in upstate New York that's really great. They foster a college environment, so they got good competitive crisis, or prices, and that's where you all should go check out... Um, so you should check them out if you need uh, any paper singles. So, Moto is coming back up here, slow and steady. All right. Finish these last two matches, finish four and one, then call it a night. How's the chat doing tonight? How's how's everybody how's everybody doing? Wherever you are across the world, it is late. So if you're on the if you're on the East Coast, you guys you guys are working, keep it up. I would like to play first. Oh, his hand is so good. If, it, if I don't kill my hierarch, then I feel okay. I'm drawing. I'm gonna keep this hand. I think there's so much of the format that's not very interactive that I think that if my hierarch lives here, I'm in good shape. And we even have a play even if our hierarch dies. So. All right, so I'm playing it's Hardened Scales. Hardened Scales Affinity. I'm going to play the Thalia, because I'd like more creatures in play, and like it could mess up their Hardened Scales turns. And just a First Striker is probably... His first Striker is pretty good against this deck. All right, Steel Overseer. We need a land. We gotta land. So we're gonna attack first. If he blocks with this, might modular over here. And then we can uh Okay, so they didn't get that. So we're just gonna reflector mage this steel overseer. The next turn, probably go champion in Athalia's lieutenant. We got a hardened scales coming. I think I like say um I think I like Reclamation Sage. I don't know a lot about this. Like I don't play this format too much. They're just like sitting here like, why can't I play my hardened scales? Because there's a Thalia in play, dude. That's nice. Let's get this into play. Bounce this Arcbound Ravager. <clears throat> Crack. Next turn, play Thalia's Lieutenant, and then swing for 42. So here comes Steel Overseer, probably. 
Bucky was though. In his deal over here. Okay. Bucky boy. I would rather have a larger values lieutenant, I think. So we're going to sequence like this. Like this. We're just turning everything sideways. Now I can actually like intelligently attack with my noble hierarch. Oh, I should. Like I just said, I could intelligently attack with my noble hierarch. Turns out I couldn't, because like first strike modular is over, and then this walking ballista is like just eats my noble. Yep, didn't see this. My opponent takes still takes six eleven. They go to two. So I'm going to have a bunch of, I'm going to have, what, four lethal threats, and they have two blockers. But no, this, yeah, they take advantage of first strike here, which is something that I, I, I missed. Went right over the head. Terrifying. It definitely is explosive, to say the least. And it, 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 like, I've only played two leagues tonight, and I've found that this deck has been, like, very effective from a very low base. Do they do the open Milwaukee? That's good. Three, five. They're thinking about it. <clears throat> I don't know what they're thinking about here. They're taking their time. What kind of what is what kind of magic does the chat play? You guys like modern players, standard players? I'm assuming if a lot of people came over from Jeff's stream that they're modern players, as that is that's Jeff mo Jeff's mo. Streamed a lot of modern. I used to love it back in the day when Jeff used to play Grixis Delver all the time. Long time ago though, a couple years ago probably. I was a big fan of that deck. <clears throat> Modern Legacy. What do you play? There. Burgery. Burgery Joe. Burgery Joe. Thinking, thinking whether or not to right click concede. It's going to be tough either way. Like, they, they're definitely, you know, taking a lot of damage. This deck is this deck is a lot of reach, but I don't know what they can do here. Play two spell skates. Okay, you're ready for it. They're just gonna get me here. Yeah, my opponent's gonna kill me. Three, four. Yep. No, this is nine. Seven, eight. Yeah, they got me.
I don't think anything about Grixis Delver is okay. Vergatron and Gender Modern, Eldrazi and Gender Legacy for the most part. Nice. They got me. They were, that, this is what they were doing for their math. They were just making sure to see if they could, they could kill me on the crackback. So because that gut shot's probably good. Sage is probably good. Staticaster is probably good. Uh, Bugler does not seem good. Thalia does not seem good. Freebooter doesn't seem great either, but it flies. So I'm kind of into it. Probably a Reflector Mage is better than a Freebooter. Nice. Right, Red Green Tron is very good. Tron is very good in general. The Tron is a very good deck. Either way you put it, that deck does a lot of work. Alright, I would like to play first. And we're going to keep this hand. This hand's explosive. This is one, two, three, right at the dot. I was trying for a while, but I figured it was time to step up a bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a better Tron. Like, I think Jerry Thompson put it the best. Like, Eldrazi Tron is for people that just don't have their hearts in it. It's like you want to play Tron, but you can't you can't uh you can't take this the swings. Nice. So now we can play like Oh man, this gut shot is sick. Cause like we can just we can smack something while tapping out for our values lieutenant next turn. No, actually, hang on. I should just do this on my turn because it's free no matter what. I guess this is a pretty straightforward just... Because they're going to jam. We're going to jam here. Then they're going to block and then chump put it on the Steel Overseer. And then we're just going to like... Gut shot the Steel Overseer and be in good shape. So now we're just going to gut shot this. <clears throat> Tron was my first modern deck. It was fun, but I just didn't like it for some reason. Yeah, I mean, Tron, Tron's like, Tron's very good, but you have to like it, I think. It's got to be your style. Because, like, you get a lot of non-games with Tron, I think. I think you get a lot of games where you just play Karn on three, game's over. You get a lot of games where you kind of just like, eh, it doesn't really come together, you know? I definitely agree that Tron is not for everyone. So now we just bounce this. Just get rid of this Ravager. I'm going to take six. And we should be good. I'm building Hollow One for my first mech. Hollow One's good. Name Walking Bless. Yeah, I mean, if we couldn't just reflect your mage and probably kill them, that's what I would have done. 
to submit. I like I like Hollow One a lot. Like it, it can be kind of frustrating, but like it's just very good at what it does. So this hand, this hand does not seem great to me. Oh, well, seems okay. Well, I guess we're gonna keep it. Yeah, we have a reclamation stage. We're gonna go vile on one freebooter, look to take like a Nissa or something like that. I did. I played a little bit of that Shadow Legacy. I think that's sweet. I think it. I think it's kind of odd. Oh, you got spending minutes. <laughs> that's funny there, Dark Inferno. Um, I think that it's a pretty good deck. I think I. I. It takes a little bit of getting used to. Well, now I think I just play this Noble. Yes, I mean, yeah, Swords is a beating, to say the least. I don't know when I'm going to get this Aether Vial down, but I'm just going to smack them in the head with this Mantis Rider until, until they've had enough, I think, is my plan. Dismember that, okay. That's kind of a beating. I think we're going to just be mana efficient. We might not ever be able to have the time to cast this Aether Vial, but we should be mana efficient. We could take a Hardened Scales. now. they have an Ink Bomb. Yep. At least I can get put start putting pressure on in the air if... Place deal over here. Okay, that's a problem. We drew a land. I think I'm gonna reflector mage it because it's a better blocker. It's better against walking ballista. Like this this thing is gonna get um like ballista can trade with Rex Sage, and I can Rex Sage back a hardened scales at some point. So I think I just want to like mage this back. You know what? Cool. The uh, thoughts on Abs and Shadow. Not the best building in the decks. I think that you have to like to, to play. I think you have to play Teamer Battle Rage in your Shadow decks. If you want to play a Shadow deck that is like Jun Splash White. I think you want to make sure that you're playing in a pretty degenerate meta game because that's like besides that you should just play Grixis, but you should play like Tar Fires, make your Tarmer Lords huge, make your traverses online, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, I think we're just gonna like smack. We're gonna get in there. We can't cast Magic Fire. Damn it! All right, well, let's go like this. Okay, shoot that. We get in. With so much experience. Jeez, there, Andrew. I appreciate that. So now we're just going to Rex Sage this and then smack in. We're not going to block this. I appreciate that. Yeah, there it is. That's the best emote on Twitch, baby. Human. So what are we doing here? I probably should just hit this. With... Okay, 
and then smack. I do have the cutest dog on Twitch. He's gone in Vermont currently, but I do I do believe that I have the cutest dog on Twitch. No matter what anybody says, Philly boy is the best. I do miss him. Dude, we've done a lot of damage to ourselves. Rashawn's better thing as thrown. As thrown and get it out. So what are we doing? We put a counter on this. We might lose this game. I don't think I should, but I have to like focus, and I don't really want to focus. I want to chat with all the people on Twitch chat. All of my uh, streams, they're always archived on my YouTube channel, so today's stream will be up there. Okay, so just, I think you would have attacked first, right? That was your plan? Uh, yeah, let's put a count on this. Jeez. All right, well, let's sack this, looking for something to do. Oh, shoot, I thought this was at three. Damn it. God, I just had this stuck in my head for some reason that I was good here. Oh, I just messed up. We're gonna, it's going to cost us. I could be just playing nothing but Mantis Riders, but I just messed up so much. I got it stuck in my head. Damn it. Oh, that's frustrating. All right, Hardened Scales. Yeah, this is how my opponent kills me. Put a counter on. Yeah. I deserve this. I deserve this so much. Comes from Twitch chat while doing that. Yeah. It is tough, but this was like, duh. We should have triple Manus Rider. Imagine if we just smacked him with a Manus Rider, how, how good a shape we'd be in right now. I think my opponent's still dead, right? Like, they have to use their entire walking blister to not die next turn. So now we just reflector mage this. They shoot here. I guess I could have done this in response to a Mantis Rider, but we'll do this after, see what they do. They might just go shoot. Like this probably wins the game either way we cut it here, but it might have been better to play the Mantis Rider and then do it, but... Yeah, I mean, this is a very good draw. I mean, no matter what, what they, like they kill one of my creatures and then I play Mantis Rider and they have to chump that one. Yeah, never punished. Never punished for my stupid plays. Sorry, we've been live. How long have we been live for? We've been live for six hours and 20 minutes. We shouldn't, we shouldn't have to be punished. We're good. At that long, it's all good. Okay. Yeah, that's probably, I, I agree with that probably. So let's get this blue mana. Play this Magic Rider. I think we're either three, we're about to be three and one or four now, I'm not sure. 
should animate the Inkmoth Nexus in order to put a minus one, minus one counter on one of my creatures, I think. I don't think it matters, but ultimately, we have one more match tonight, and then we're going to call it. Then I'm going to bed. Walking Blister. One, two. Walking Blister for three does not do anything. Walking Blister for one does not, two does not do anything. I guess it kind of does on the board, right? Like, this blocks here. Block, block, yeah. So on the board it kind of does something. Yeah, sure. Put this in. And they're scooping it up. Magus Rider! <clears throat> All right. All right. Um, I'm going to restart Moto for the last match. I appreciate everybody for hanging out tonight. Y'all are great. The stream has been a lot of fun. Uh, if you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. I would appreciate it. That would be great. Um, if you want to check out other content from my stream, check out my YouTube channel, which is linked below. If you're on my YouTube channel, check out my Twitch channel. That is also linked below. If you want to just interact with me on Twitter about anything, especially magic-related, check me out on uh, Twitter. That's also linked below on both of them. Um, and if you guys are looking for paper singles, you should check out Gamer Craze. They're a store in upstate New York. They foster a college environment. So they have competitive prices. That's where I learned to play, so they're great. Um, card Hoarder is also a sponsor of the stream. They enable all of these cards to come here. They're the best bot chain in the business, so if you have anything Magic Online related, you should check them out. All right, let us open a league. All right, stream's coming back here. Mantis Rider. That would be sweet. We went, what, we were like one, I think we went one, two in our, one, three in our first league. It would be pretty sweet to four, one the next two. I'm just never going to get a five out trophy, though. But you all, you all are great. What if I want to rent magic cards? They cannot. Carter does not rent magic cards. It is through, um, I don't know if they rent. You you might have to look on their website. I don't think, <laughs> I, I don't think they rent magic cards. They mostly just sponsor streamers. So this hands all mana and doesn't do anything. I think I got a mulligan. Okay, we're going to keep this and scry land at the top. Nope, that's not a land because of Ancient Ziggurat. Teleria West. You don't say. Teleria freaking West. I am below average. Sorcerer's Spyglass. I do like playing Amulet. I was going to say. I'm a big Amulet fan. Fan. So if I get this Meddling Mage down, I just name and Snaring Bridge, right? And then hope that that works. Tilt. Well, it was a good run, guys. Guys and gals, it was good. It was good while it lasted. Both teams played hard. Both teams played hard. Put a solid effort in. Hit the showers, boys. Hit the showers. What an ass kicking. 
Who, like, wakes up in the morning and is like, God, I can't wait to play a freaking prison deck. This is probably decent. I mean, Reflector Mage is awful. This is like your prison. <laughs> we got a comedian in the chat. All right, is Sin Collector better than Militia Bugler? No. Why is Why is Fears good? We've got an LGS that does that. Kid doesn't get out of bed if he can't play some bullshit. <laughs> yeah, it's just like not very much fun. All right, we're gonna keep this hands fast. We're definitely playing this. Probably playing Thalion too. If I had to guess. Human. I did not name human with the next one. Though I might just play the image. Who doesn't love a game like that? Great question. Great question. Bobble you. I feel like I should play the Thalia. And I don't know why, but I feel like playing the Thalia will be good. We are still playing. I think playing the Thalia will be, like, good. I'm not super sure why I want to do that. And if I save this, I can, like, hit this Rex Sage, which I'm kind of all about. That's what I was thinking. How you doing, Rafi? Yeah, we got a big stream. We got a big host. Jeff Hoogman hosted me right after I finished my last league. And I was like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crash. But then I was like, oh, I got 1,000 people watching, so I'm going to keep playing. But to tell you how bad I am, 1,000 people were watching. And only, like, what? 160 are now. So that thing's big. But I think we're just going to smoke it. And we're going to get in there. Make him use his welding jar. Oh, it's not a human. It is an elf. Oh, I can't cast it. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, let's be mana efficient. Oh, that's sad. It is one of my highest ones, yeah. I've gotten up to like 200 before. All right, we're going to take this Noble Hierarch so we can cash, cash our, cast our Reclamation Sage someday. Good old Randy Bugler. <laughs> We have incoming word of inventions. Well, let's put this on the stack. They can't whir for bridge. I think I'm still going to name whir. They can't whir for bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they just tapped the spell skype. I kind of want to name Bridge now just because it's hard. I guess I can name Engineer Explosives. Let's be like an adult here. Let's get Engineer N. Engineer Explosives. Crack in. I'm going to blow this bridge up next turn. If we draw a land, we're going to, like, welding jar it, too. I guess this spell sky is going to be pretty annoying. 
Torpor Orb. Oh, Torpor Orb's game, right? This is just game, right? I can't beat this. Because, like, they have the brick wall. Rip. Image by Hierarch. And we're just going to, like, Hierarch for a million damage here. Is that the plan? All right. We're going to take, like, three draw steps from this, and then we're going to think about it. But the problem is they just block it with their spell skite. Get more hierarchs. No. Image is not an ETB effect, right? It's just a plan. We're gonna find one more of these things, then we're gonna we're gonna send a message here. Oh baby. Oh baby. I hope my opponent just falls out of their chair. Look at that. Get some of that. <laughs> we did it. I don't know. I should have played a champion, probably. Pyrite spell bomb. Why are you going to do that? Why are you going to pyrite spell bomb me? <clears throat> I kind of still want to scoop. Like if we're going to be if we're going to be above the rim right here. The old pyrite spell bomb. Can they loop this? Got ether file. Oh yeah. Oh, we let it happen. Oh, he blocked? God, how sick would a malcontent be right now? You know what this looks like? This looks like a lot of fun magic. That's what this looks like. <clears throat> Malcontent, not very good with orb. You speak the truth. You speak the truth, sir. You got real news over there. We're over bit. Gear per ether grid. Just like keep talking about cards we can't beat. All right. We're going to call it. We're going to call it, ladies and gentlemen. Both teams tried hard.